Hey guys, Spartan117GW, and today we're taking a look at the GBLS Dynamic Action System M4A1. Now, we've been testing this over the last few days, and as you can see, you get a lot of kit with this rifle. Enough kit to have two power, different power bolts and a couple different pieces of furniture to really dress up the gun in different ways. It also comes with six magazines, which is a huge help because you don't have to track down proprietary magazines out on the open market. This rifle is dressed with several PTS accessories, the C4 rail system, the enhanced polymer stock, and it comes with the enhanced polymer grip. What makes this rifle unique is this split gearbox design that basically allows it to shotgun like a real rifle and function like a GBBR. Next, let's take a look at the bolt carrier group. What's really cool is that this is the piston head, the piston, and the nozzle. Uh, it's really awesome because it's in the bolt carrier group design, and as you would expect, it functions just like that. It goes into the upper receiver just like it would in AR or in a gas blowback rifle. Very, very cool. So what's really cool about the low receiver is that it holds the gearbox. It's a very cool split gearbox design and how it integrates with the bolt carrier group. You also have the buttstock. Now we switched out with enhanced polymer stock because you're really going to need the battery space for the really thick wires because it has the MOSFET and the fuse and this is really gives you the best bang for your buck. So now for the fun part, shooting the rifle. Now this thing shoots anywhere between 13 and 16 rounds per second, and you have to make sure the bolt is lubed, otherwise it will affect or possibly impede operation of the rifle. FPS was kind of on the low end. I think it might have been due to the BBs that we were using. Maybe they were mixed, or the battery, or one of the other things with the hop-up. Uh, so we're going to test it out, including range, in the future to make sure we have more accurate information, but that's just what we got today. Brain Explorer came by and tested out his DAS rifle with me, and it was a lot of fun. So a few other things about this rifle, the magazines, which it includes six, are pretty cool, very sturdy, they feel really nice too. I just feel that the feed lips might be a little bit on the small side because loading the magazines is on the more difficult side. Um, the rifle is very, very, very fun to shoot. I will say the trigger squeeze is definitely on the heavier side. It's about 10 pounds, and that's quoted from the factory. They will change it to the next version, so I really hope they bring it down to something more mil spec like a one pound trigger um so i it's definitely a little bit easier and in ways more fun to shoot on full auto because you don't have to worry about squeezing the 10 pound trigger over and over again but when this thing is running it is pretty dang cool to shoot and it's really cool to see the full operation from third person of the bolt moving and locking to the rear it's very very satisfying and in terms of when the bolts lock the rear when you hit that um bolt catch and send the bolt home, it's probably one of the most satisfying feelings I've had on any airsoft gun that I've ever used. Overall, the DAS rifle is a unique gun, but not without its flaws. It's pretty cool and I'm really happy that we got a chance to test them out. Big thanks to GBLS and Kotak for setting this up and thanks to Brain Exploder for swinging by. See you guys next time.